We will now cover some of the more common logic families found in today's electronic equipment. The first family we shall cover is the TTL. TTL stands for Transistor Transistor Logic. The TTL logic is the most widely used of the logic families. There are two basic groups of TTL logic circuits. These are the 5400 group which is used for military equipment and the 7400 group which is used for commercial equipment. The military group requires more rigid specifications than does the commercial group. Even though there are numerous TTL logic circuits available on today's market, they will all have four common characteristics. First, their supply voltage will be similar. Second, the noise immunity will be similar. Third, the fan in will be limited to one per gate. And lastly, the fan out will be limited to 10 per gate. The supply voltage for the TTL family will typically range from 3.5 to 5 volts. 5 volts is the maximum which should be applied to these logic devices. The TTL logic devices should never be subjected to a reverse or negative voltage. This could damage or even destroy the device. Noise is generally induced in TTL circuits from stray signals being induced by other components located near the device. These signals are generally induced by stray electromagnetic fields created when a gate or some similar device switches from cutoff to saturation. If an input of a TTL gate is left open or floating, it will act as though it had a 2 to 5 volt positive potential being applied. Therefore, unused inputs should always be tied to ground to prevent the possibility of noise being picked up or errors being induced into the logic. Fan in is a term used to represent the number of gates which may feed into a single input of a logic device. The fan in of a TTL device is only one. In other words, a TTL will only accept one signal source per input. The fan out, on the other hand, is used to represent the number of inputs to which the output of the device can supply energy. TTL gates must be capable of supplying 400 milliamps at its output and drive 10 standard TTL gates. The logic high level of the TTL logic family will typically be 5 volts and the low logic level will typically range from 2 tenths to 6 tenths of a volt. The switching speed or propagation delay of a standard TTL device will be approximately 10 nanoseconds. The switching speed is the time required for the device to go from cutoff to saturation or from saturation to cutoff. The TTL device will generally consume about 10 milliwatts per gate. Another commonly found logic family is the CMOS family. CMOS ICs are constructed with complementary metal oxide semiconductor devices. The insulated gate in the CMOS device provides a very high input impedance. This causes the device to consume very small amounts of power. The power consumed by a typical CMOS gate will be about 0 0.01 microwatts. This makes the CMOS logic family ideally suited for battery operated circuits. The CMOS equivalent of a TTL gate will have a prefix of 8800. This number indicates it is a CMOS device. CMOS operating voltage levels can range from 3 volts to 15 volts. Notice the difference in supply voltage requirements between the CMOS and TTL devices. A high output condition of the CMOS device will be almost equal to the supply voltage and a low output condition will be around 1.2 volts. As was mentioned earlier, there is a trade-off between switching speed and power dissipation in all logic gates. The CMOS device is no exception. The switching speed of the CMOS gate is typically 25 nanoseconds. This makes this device much slower than its TTL counterpart. Presently, the TTL and CMOS logic families dominate the small scale and medium scale integrated digital circuits. Here we see another commonly used digital logic family. These logic devices are termed ECL, which stands for Emitter Coupled Logic. Internally, the emitter coupled logic circuits will use NPN transistors with their emitters tied together. Notice in the schematic of an ECL gate, the emitters of Q1 and Q2 are tied together. Transistor Q1 is used for one input and transistor Q2 is used for the other input. 
Also notice that this gate has two outputs. One comes from the emitter of transistor Q4 and the other comes from the emitter of transistor Q5. You may also have noticed that the symbol for the gate has an inverted output and a non-inverted output. This is the symbol of an ECL NOR OR gate device. The emitter coupled logic family is among the fastest of the digital family groups in use today. These devices are widely used in industry where cost is not the primary factor. The ECL devices are commonly found in high-speed computing systems. ECL circuits are designed so that the collector to emitter voltages are always above three-tenths of a volt. This keeps the transistors in an active mode of operation and avoids hard saturation when the transistors are turned on. The fastest ECL series available will have a propagation delay of only one nanosecond with a power dissipation of 60 milliwatts per gate. In another ECL series, the propagation delay is 2 nanoseconds with a power dissipation of only 25 milliwatts per gate. Notice the trade-off between speed and power dissipated. The faster the gate, the higher the power consumed. TTL stands for Transistor Transistor Logic and is among the most widely used of the logic families. TTL devices are generally classed in the 7400 group for commercial use. Supply voltages for the TTL family will typically range from 3.5 to 5 volts, with 5 volts being the maximum allowable voltage. TTL devices should never be subjected to reverse voltages since this could destroy the device. Inputs on TTL gates should never be left open or floating because stray signals from nearby circuits can be induced into the gate which will cause errors in the logic information. Fan in is a term used to represent the number of gates which may be fed into a single input of a logic device. Fan out is a term used to represent the number of inputs that the output of a device can supply energy to. Another common logic family is the CMOS family. The CMOS devices will have a very high input impedance and will consume very small amounts of power. Emitter coupled logic devices are among the fastest in the digital family groups. The fastest in the ECL series has a propagation delay or switching speed of only one nanosecond, but it will consume as much as 60 milliwatts of power per gate. This concludes review number three. TTL stands for Transistor Transistor Logic and is among the most widely used of the logic families. TTL devices are generally classed in the 7400 group for commercial use. Supply voltages for the TTL family will typically range from 3.5 to 5 volts, with 5 volts being the maximum allowable voltage. TTL devices should never be subjected to reverse voltages since this could destroy the device. Inputs on TTL gates should never be left open or floating because stray signals from nearby circuits can be induced into the gate which will cause errors in the logic information. Fan in is a term used to represent the number of gates which may be fed into a single input of a logic device. Fan out is a term used to represent the number of inputs that the output of a device can supply energy to. Another common logic family is the CMOS family. The CMOS devices will have a very high input impedance and will consume very small amounts of power. Emitter coupled logic devices are among the fastest in the digital family groups. The fastest in the ECL series has a propagation delay or switching speed of only one nanosecond, but it will consume as much as 60 milliwatts of power per gate. This concludes review number three.
TTL stands for Transistor Transistor Logic and is among the most widely used of the logic families. TTL devices are generally classed in the 7400 group for commercial use. Supply voltages for the TTL family will typically range from 3.5 to 5 volts with 5 volts being the maximum allowable voltage. TTL devices should never be subjected to reverse voltages since this could destroy the device. Inputs on TTL gates should never be left open or floating because stray signals from nearby circuits can be induced into the gate which will cause errors in the logic information. Fan in is a term used to represent the number of gates which may be fed into a single input of a logic device. Fan out is a term used to represent the number of inputs that the output of a device can supply energy to. Another common logic family is the CMOS family. The CMOS devices will have a very high input impedance and will consume very small amounts of power. Emitter coupled logic devices are among the fastest in the digital family groups. The fastest in the ECL series has a propagation delay or switching speed of only one nanosecond, but it will consume as much as 60 milliwatts of power per gate. This concludes review number three.